in 1877, Thomas Edison finished figuring out his first phonograph. He handed the model of his invention to John Cruthy with instructions on how to build it. Less than 30 hours later, they had a machine that worked on the first try. In 1915 this week, Charles Kettering of Detroit, Michigan patented the electric automobile self-starter. And it's a good thing he did or we'd still be cranking our cars by hand. In 1960, Echo-1, NASA's first successful communications satellite, was launched. Echo-1 was a 100-foot diameter Mylar balloon that functioned as a reflector. So after it was placed in a low Earth orbit, a signal could be sent to it, reflected by its surface, and returned to Earth. In 1981 this week, IBM introduced a personal computer with their 5150 model. The IBM PC ran on the Intel 8088 microprocessor at 4.77 MHz. It had 16 kilobytes of memory, no built-in clock or video capability. It was available, however, with an optional color monitor. Prices started at around $1,500. The IBM PC was a smashing success, and IBM quickly became the number one microcomputer company, dropping Apple to number two. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Be sure to visit our website anytime at intotomorrow.com. Check out our many posts, subscribe to our free podcast while you're there, and we'll catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.